Hi, this video is brought to you by Identipro. We're based in the UK and my name is Dave. In today's video, we're going to give you a good look at the fantastic Raptor A6200 model from Brady. This is an, an automated system which helps you label cables. So it's an all-in-one cable label printer and applicator. It actually it applies the cables labels to the cables. It's a smaller system, so the, there isn't a larger system available. So this is the 6200 model, which handles cables up to just over six millimeters out of cable diameter. The larger model, which is the 6500, that, that handles larger cables. So you've got the two models available. In today's video, we're going to um, show you the, uh, the Raptor working. We'll also show you the software and how you design a label. Um, the included software is Brady Workstation, um, currently the product and wire identification suite. Uh, it's good software, it does everything you expect it to do. So you can design a label with a company logo, symbols, um, barcodes, serial numbering, text, you know, everything you'd expect it to do. So we'll bring the camera in and um, yeah, let's show you the Raptor doing its thing. It's a great bit of kit. So we've got our label loaded into the system. It's a serial number with a barcode. You present your cable into the jaws with the applicator and it prints and applies in one action. That's our label. Applied nice, nice and neatly to the cable. So we'll now show you how to design your label design. Um, we're in Brady Workstation, which is the included software. Within Workstation, we use the Custom Designer app, which is the main label design app. We select the printer or applicator, which is the A6200, the label size, so that we're working on the correct label. This is our label here, with a clear over laminate piece showing also there. So we've designed in this area here. You've got different drawing tools here that you can use to pop objects onto the label, create objects on the label design. But I want to use the labeling extras, and I'm going to use the advanced sequence to create a serial number. Uh, the serial number we create down here, so you put your start value, 1001, the end value, 1010. Um, I'm going to click next. We can create it as a barcode rather than just text. And we could add either a precursor or you know, something before the text, uh, the serialization, or after the serialization. So, yeah, so we've created the barcode here as a serial number. We'll drop that up onto the label quickly. And then we can change the size of the barcode. Um, the density down here which is the width and the height and to align it correctly you can use this arrange center vertically and center horizontally so that just lines it up nicely on the label and then if we zoom out a little bit using the zoom level top right hand corner we can check that the serialization is doing what we expect it to do so it is so um, that's our label so we can send it to print if you've got the Raptor connected directly to your computer you can select it here I haven't so I'm just going to print to file and print to file allows me to pop the label save file onto a memory stick and get it into the Raptor that way so you just give it a number uh, so your name here so you know, maybe one, and that's saved to the memory stick um, and then we can get it across into the Raptor for printing. We hope you found that overview useful. Um, as we mentioned at the start of the video, this is the smaller Raptor unit, the 6200 model. Um, if you've got larger cables to label, then the, the larger model, the A6500 Raptor, is, is worth a look. If you've got any questions or queries, um, please get in touch. Our contact details are coming up now. Thanks for watching.